Hi guys, uh, back with part two of our Mastery Tour series. Uh, if you haven't seen the first part, I'll link it down below and you can quickly watch that with watching the rest of this video. But yeah, we're going to start off with our maternity tubs as you can see right now. We've got two of them, but usually we can have about four of these at one time. Uh, we have pregnant mums in here just before they're about to drop and for about two weeks uh, until babies uh, open their eyes. And then they go into our uh, nursery tubs, which I'll show off uh, down below with some of our babies and their mama. So first up we've got Portia who's in here with her babies at the moment but this is a converted uh, 27 litre storage bin that's been turned into a maternity tub. Uh, we've got a couple of these and we use them to house our babies uh, until they're two weeks uh, just as they open their eyes and then they'll go into a 50 litre. But yeah we're going to show off how we set this up and show you Portia and her babies. But yeah, here I am just taking the lid off our maternity enclosure to give you a good bird's eye view of how we set it up. Uh, pretty basic, uh, we try to keep the distractions as low as possible. We want mum's focus to be solely on the baby, so no wheels. A uh, couple of things for her just to, you know, chew and enjoy if she does get a little bored. Uh, that apple stick there we put in after she gave birth, by the way. Don't want her uh, falling while she was pregnant. But yeah, she's a sweet girl. Uh, she's Pied Argente, uh, and this is Pia's granddaughter. Her dad was Puccini, who was uh, Pia's son. So she's not as big as her grandma, but you never know, she could still keep growing. But I don't think she's going to be a very big mouse, but she's very lovely. And we have three of her babies in here that we'll show shortly. But yeah, sweet little girl. But yeah, so we've got a little uh, jungle gym, uh, a couple toilet rolls. And yeah, nothing too much, but just some stuff to keep it occupied if she does get bored. And then here's just our little food mix that we get from another breeder here in New Zealand. Uh, lots of good stuff in there, and I give that to my pregnant uh, mums, uh, wieners, and yeah. Uh, but yeah, here she is just trying to get out. I can never hold her long enough. Lovely little girl. <laughs> now, the moment of truth. Let's show Porsche's babies. <laughs> oh, bye Porsche. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, we've got three of her babies in here, all girls, uh, two of which have already been adopted uh, and will go to their homes when they're ready and then one who's staying here. Uh, but yeah, on the right, that's a cinnamon pied, or pied cinnamon, who'll be staying here. She's our little chosen one. She's gorgeous. And in the middle, we've got a pied dove. And then on the left, we've got a pied agouti. But aren't they gorgeous? Uh, just a few days shy of opening their eyes, so... Once their eyes are open, I'll move the nest. Uh, I usually put like a platform or something underneath it so I can't disturb the nest, so it's very seamless. Uh, but yeah, usually around two weeks, it gets a little bit stinky. So uh, And they're about to walk around anyway, so you've got to give them the bigger size. Now we're just putting Portia back in with her babies. Uh, we've also given her a dog biscuit, which are perfectly safe for mice, and we feed these to all of our nursing and our pregnant does. Uh, they're 20% protein, 5% fat, uh, so really good at boosting milk production and helping make big strong babies. On to our next maternity tub. Uh, in this one we've got Stella and she has her recently birthed babies in here. Uh, but yeah, the same as the other one, uh, 27 litres. And we've designed this one uh, more with the kind of eco theme in mind. If you follow us on Instagram and Facebook, you'll know that we're very passionate about being an eco-friendly mousery. So we try to use as much natural and secondhand uh, products as much as possible. But yeah, let's have a look, shall we? So, just like Porsche's enclosure, a uh, very simple setup as well, just to make sure uh, Stella's attention is solely on her babies. Uh, but yeah, so we'll start off with just our hide here. Uh, cardboard box, once again, got this from our hardware store. Uh, I've never really used cardboard as hides for pregnant mamas, but I thought I'd give it a go. And then we've got our Trixie ladder in the left that we just showed. Uh, toilet tubes, uh, our food. This is uh, Origins rodent food, 17%. Uh, and then we've got our dog biscuits, which we talked about earlier, to give her that added protein. 
Now, here's me just taking the hide off. Ah, uh, yes, that Sasquatch arm belongs to me, because I am, in fact, a 26-year-old man. A lot of people on Instagram like to assume that I'm a 14-year-old girl, so sorry to disappoint, guys. I am a 26-year-old man. <laughs> but anyways, here's Stella and her babies. Uh, we got Stella from another breeder here in New Zealand, the Mouse House, and we paired her with Ricardo to see uh, what kind of recessives and things she was hiding. But uh, all of the babies were either a Guti or South Black, so that was quite interesting. But we're going to breed these babies together and hopefully get some Silver Aguti and Chinchilla. So that's how we set up our uh, maternity enclosures for the first two weeks of our baby's lives. And now we're going to show you uh, the nursery uh, from two weeks and onwards. Now, time to show off our nursery. Uh, we've got Bambi in here, uh, who's from the mouse house, and who came here with her sister Stella. Uh, we paired her with Picasso, and she had four babies with them, who she's in here with. Uh, they just recently turned uh two and a half weeks so we upgraded them to uh our nursery enclosure but yeah, as you can see here we've got our water bottle we have a few of these that we attach to our bin cages and then as you can see we're just doing a little scope of our uh, mesh on it as you can see looks a bit different to our other mesh that we usually do because my uh silly self brought the half inch and not the quarter inch mesh so before i open the lid up and show you inside i'll give you a little overview uh we've got this beautiful uh bird uh wood ladder uh that i got online uh lots of great mice toys are uh, actually bird toys uh, they're wooden they're safe for mice if you make sure that they're killing dried pine or woods that are safe for mice but yeah we have a few of these that we ever chuck into our nursery or our wiener tubs once again, just another simple setup. Uh, as long as you've got uh, the main areas covered, like things to chew on, climb on, hide in, um, it's pretty fine. And the baby's only just starting to venture out the nest, so don't want to overload them with too many things at once. Uh, but yeah, here's Bambi again, sweet little thing. Uh, but yeah, we've got a couple of hides in here, plastic, wood, drift, once again, driftwood, lifesaver. We've got a wooden uh, little bird ladder here, a little ceramic pot in the back. And then our ceramic bowl dish uh, with our food in it. Here's one of uh, Bambi's babies. Uh, because they're still quite young, they're still quite shy. So as soon as I pulled out the camera, they were pretty much hiding. But I managed to grab a couple to do um, some handling sessions with and get some uh, footage of. Uh, but yeah, here we have one of uh, her black pied babies. Uh, with handling with our... Uh, babies we usually do about three to four 20 minute um, handling sessions a day um, depending how many babies we have that type can go on for much longer but usually for 20 minutes that's usually about four five mice that I can handle for about that time and depending how many litters I have that's how much time I'll have to spend with them every day but usually can spend up to about six hours out in the mousery uh, every day so if you don't have the time uh, to really uh give them all the attention that they deserve you really should not be breeding um we try to make our mice as tame in that as possible through not only uh, genetic selection uh, but also with uh handling but yeah we've got a little uh chocolate pied girl here uh she has a home already and uh she's gonna make her owner very happy she's a very lovely girl so that's the second part of our mousery tour. I hope you enjoyed seeing our maternity tubs and our uh, nursery enclosure. I really wanted to include the boys in the second part, but at eight minutes, uh, we're going to have to cut this video short, but they'll definitely be in the next part. So if you're enjoying our mousery tour series so far, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.